What's good, Josh? Will Ross back at the game with another video. So we're gonna check out ten awkward moments when the table didn't break. Ah, uh, this is pretty much uh, I am the table meme, and I love it, man. There's been plenty of times in wrestling where the table didn't break, but now we have a name for it. I am the table. Comment down below. Let me know if all of you guys are the table as well, because you know I am. You know I am, but we have to check this out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel. Let's get right into this great video, man. Is this on? Things don't always go to plan in a match. The wrestlers can do as much as they can to ensure things go off without a hitch. But when it comes to inanimate objects, it's a different story. Especially when tables are involved. More often than not, they break just fine. <laughs> <laughs> what? But then there are those I am the table moments. Yes. I am the table. Where the furniture just oh. doesn't give. We'll be highlighting some of these moments today as yes, we look sir. at two wrestling matches where the tables didn't break. <laughs> oh. The table didn't the announced table is usually the biggest culprit in terms of not breaking. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they might be gimmicked ahead of time, but this can be dangerous as the table might break too early. Yep. Yeah, right there, something like this that. This is something The Rock has experienced on a few occasions, mm -hmm. including during his match for CM Punk for the WWE Championship at the yep. 2013 Royal Rumble. One month later at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, the two men would have a rematch where once again a planned spot using the announce table would go wrong. CM Punk hit the great one with a rock bottom, but upon impact, The Rock just slid off the table. It didn't break. Rock could have lost the WWE title via count out per the match stipulation, so this spot acted as a false finish. However, it would have been even more effective had the table broken as planned. Now yep. we come to the announce table spot in The Rock's one hour Iron Man match with Triple H at Judgment Day 2000, which played out almost identically to the one in our previous example. The Brahma Bull also went into this match as a champion. Shawn Michaels was the special referee. Near the end of the match, on the announce table, The Rock counted a rock bottom into a pedigree, but unfortunately, the table didn't break and both wrestlers slid off it oh i am the table man triple h failed to re-enter the <laughs> ring in time to answer the 10 count allowing the rock to pull the score back to make it 5-4 the match ended as the undertaker made his return introducing us to his american badass persona attacking triple h and dx this then led to Shawn michaels calling for a dq declaring triple h as the winner the fans in the arena weren't best wow. pleased with the result and proceeded to pelt the ring with garbage <laughs> to close the show a controversial finish and an unbreakable table also came into play when christian battled randy orton for the world heavyweight championship at Money in the they Bank 2011, nice where if Orton got too. disqualified, he would lose the title. The two men were on their way to having a very good match as they traded near falls and hit each other with some high impact moves. The tide completely changed, however, when Christian began to cower in the corner, only to spit right in Orton's face. Oh, this is so good. Oh my God, this is so Randy, good. Who rained down punches before low blowing Christian right in front of the referee. Oh, this is the so ref had good. had no choice but to disqualify the Viper, thus making Christian the new yep. World Heavyweight mm -hmm. Champion per the match <laughs> stipulation. This is when the real beating would truly Oh, begin. this is such Orton a great segment. On the outside He's still... and delivered an RKO. <laughs> I'm, with... I'm with Randy Orton there. You spit in my face. It's not about the championship no more. I can get the championship back. All I got to do is make sure you can't defend it for the next 30 days because you'll be in the hospital from injuries you have to relinquish the title anyway oh great 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 this makes me want to go watch that match again onto the spanish announce table the table didn't move an inch though but despite this it looked like that was that as orton made his exit however the apex predator came back no, for more and no. gave the new world champion one more rko for good measure <laughs> Once again, though, I the table the did table. not break, but it's fair to say Orton got his message across, as he did a great job in selling this his frustration. So good. Our next example, however, involves a wrestler getting angry for real. Sabu was as much of a loose cannon as he was a maniac, and this was Definitely there for was all maniac. to see when he wrestled Flash Funk on the June 23rd, 1997 episode of Raw. The match was a showcase for ECW, who had a working relationship with the WWF at the time. Sabu displayed his unique offense by performing a somersault plancher and a leaping hurricane rana. The match spilled to the outside side and ended in a double count out but this didn't stop sabu from doing an acai moonsault to flash as he lay on the table but the table failed to break despite two attempts oh bro that 
Bro, that Samuel table tried looks. One more time, but yo, look at dropped. that. Look at that table. That wasn't that. That's one of them. Uh, them, them, them church meeting tables. Like y- you can, you can put whatever you want on it. It's not gonna break. That mug. That mug looks solid, bro. She. Only for the legs of the table to break before the centerpiece could. The WWF rarely did table spots during this time, meaning they didn't have an appropriate breakaway mm-hmm. table on hand to use. A yeah, furious Sabu leapt tell. through the crowd, throwing chairs around as some fans hilariously tried to calm him down. <laughs> Road Dogg and Gangrel would suffer a similar table mishap to Sabu less than two years later on Roy's War. The first table spot was executed perfectly as Gangrel powerbombed Road Dogg through the wood with no issue. The Road Dogg then looked to return the favor on the outside mm-hmm. with an elbow drop, but the table didn't budge. A leg drop from the apron put a dent in the center before another elbow, this time from the second rope caved in the table further oh, Bro, look at look how solid their tables were oh, my. road dog did one more move on the table hitting gangrel with a suplex before smashing him across Jesus. the head with two chair shots Ooh. and it was this that gave road dog the victory oh oh, oh. oh. Oh my god! <laughs> Next, we go to WCW for their uncensored pay per view in 1998, where DDP defended the United States Championship against Raven and Chris Benoit in a triple threat match. DDP was taken out of the ring for some time after being thrown into a screen at the entranceway. Page later managed to crawl his way back up the ramp, entering the ring in time to knock Benoit to the outside. Dallas then yeah, geared up to hit the diamond that cutter to looks. Raven from the second rope onto the table below. However, the table ended up falling over instead of breaking due to Raven landing on his feet. <laughs> Oh. As it appeared, he didn't table. have enough distance to take a front bump <laughs> due to how close the table was to the corner. Regardless, DDP made the cover and retained the title in what was a fun match. The first ever women's tag team tables match in the WWE took place at TLC 2010 and I had the potential the to be a decent belt. match. However, it didn't turn out that way. Early on, Beth Phoenix would be thrown to the outside, but she landed awkwardly oh. on her head. Natalya then performed a sharpshooter on both Layla and Michelle McCool at the same time. Natalya was outnumbered though, and this allowed the heels to take advantage by perching her on the top rope with a table set below. They intended to hit a double superplex, but Natalia fought back, pushing both Layla and McCool onto the table. Is the table painted? The table didn't break, meaning the match had to continue. But Natalia, already on the top rope, used this as the perfect opportunity to dive onto her opponent. This this. successfully broke the table and gave Natalia and Beth the win. Yeah, WrestleMania just, 21 gave us an incredible me. first time ever matchup between Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle. Mm-hmm. It featured some memorable moments, which yep. included Angle perched up on the announce table only for HBK to perform a twisting crossbody. But unfortunately, the table never broke. No, no, yeah! Oh my gosh. I am the table. This was a slight dampener <laughs> to an otherwise phenomenal match as Kurt yeah. Angle picked up the win using an ankle lock which was sold to perfection by Michaels. Yeah, the Payback 2015 it. pay-per-view was headlined by a fatal four-way for the WWE Championship. The match started with Roman Reigns hitting a big dive from the ring to everyone on the outside. The Shield seemingly reunited when Reigns, Rollins and Ambrose mm-hmm. hit a triple powerbomb to Randy Orton onto the English-speaking announce table. The triple powerbomb! <laughs> This However, was a the cool reunion mo- moment proved to too. be short-lived as Reigns and Ambrose went right back to attacking Rollins. Ambrose and Reigns then proceeded to hoist up Kane, who had interfered on Rollins' behalf. The Big Red Machine would be powerbombed onto Seth, who lay across the Spanish announce table. However, the table didn't collapse as planned. <laughs> This resulted in one, one more time, more time chance, chance from the yep. fans. Ambrose and Reigns obliged as it was second time mm-hmm. lucky when Kane and Rollins crashed through the table. <laughs> Lastly, we have it. an elimination tables match from Raw in the summer of 2001. Christian was the first person to go through a table after eating a 3D. 3D. Edge was the next one out after he received a spine buster from Booker T. This left Kurt Angle at a three-on-one disadvantage. The Olympic gold medalist's first elimination was to come following a belly-to-belly to Devon. However, Devon simply bounced straight off the table as it topped over oh kurt repeated the spot and this time the table successfully broke clean in the middle (laughs) angle then looked to eliminate booker kurt hit an awkwardly looking angle sam as the legs on the table gave way but not the table itself (laughs) (laughs) the tables are made of a reinforced steel i love it (laughs) Entered the ring and set up the table in the corner. This gave Kurt then a plan B as he threw Bubba onto the outside and then Irish whip Booker right through the table. 
Damn, he broke that. It was time. now a one on one situation. Earl Hebner then got taken out, allowing the Alliance's crooked referee, Nick Patrick, to of step course. in. Just when it seemed Kurt was about to angle Sam Bubba through the table to claim the victory, Patrick moved the table out of the way. Angle then chased Patrick <laughs> to the outside and put him in the ankle lock on top of the announce table. Stone Cold then appeared, attacking Kurt from behind, bringing him back to the ring to deliver a stunner. Austin would then help Bubba powerbomb Angle through the table to end the match. Oh. After which, wrestlers from the WWF ran down and lost the <laughs> And that brings us to the end of this video. Oh, man, As always, this if you enjoyed good, it, man. be sure to give it a like and subscribe to of the course, channel. Of and course. if you like this one, be sure to check out us. Hey, man, y'all definitely go show some love and support to the homie wrestling flashback. I'm subscribed to him. So you guys subscribe to him as well. This was great. This video was full of I am the table moments, and I loved every second of it. So comment down below. Let everybody know. How much of you guys are the table as well? I'm, I, they, they ain't really much to say other than I am the table. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all in the next one. Peace.